Hey, what's up, you guys? It's time for another episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. Today, it's a family affair. That's right. For this week's episode, we're talking about working with family in children's ministry because when it comes to children's ministry working with family is hot it can be a beautiful thing but becoming over reliant and dependent upon them for the entire work of the ministry is not and it can cause a lot of stress on you your family and the department you've been called to steward Do you pull on your family a little too much? Well, pull up a seat because class is in session. Stick around and find out. You made it! You didn't quit when it was hard. You didn't quit when they disappointed you. You didn't quit because you knew the mission was so much bigger than yourself. So I need for you to celebrate one another. Listen, you guys. It is a beautiful thing to see leaders doing ministry with their families. However, the leadership problem arises when those family members supplant any other willing and able volunteers. In other words, there's a big difference between serving with your family and being overly dependent on your family. Like that one time I made guys stop working on that contract to put on that hot chipmunk suit. Hey, honey, you still mad at me about that? Yeah. Come on. Listen, you guys, I get it. Your family members are around, and it just seems easier to make them do it. I have been there. While it may not be readily apparent, over-reliance on your family is a symptom of ineffective leadership. By relying predominantly on family, children's ministry leaders are taking the path of convenience in the management of their departments. And please hear me out on this one. When a leader can only depend on their spouse or children for the work of the ministry, it is a clear indicator that they are taking the easy path. And let me tell you, that path may seem easy now, but trust me, it is a dangerous path to take. Here's three reasons why. Number one, it causes problems at home. Forcing or guilting your family to bear the brunt of the work in the children's ministry can cause a lot of unnecessary frustration in your home. And quite frankly, it's kind of unfair, especially if they don't want to do it. Listen, I have seen it before, the frustration, the bitterness and confusion it can cause in your household is just not worth it. Number two, it causes all types of recruitment and retainment issues. The more you choose your family to do the work of the ministry, would-be volunteers are ignored or relegated to inconsequential roles because all of the key activities are occupied by your family members. When people are hindered from walking out what they feel called to do because the seat is already taken by your family member, eventually they'll leave. And number three, it leaves your department vulnerable to a crisis. A leadership model centered around your family, you guys, is totally unsustainable. If all leadership is concentrated in one family, then a family crisis has the potential to topple the entire children's ministry. Hear me today, friends. Effective leaders push beyond discomfort because they know the value of having diverse support in the work of the ministry. Like Christ, we must refine our ability to invite others to take steps to fulfill their calling and purpose. Jesus was willing to make the ask by inviting the disciples to come and follow him. We too must overcome the insecurities and resist the temptation to force our families to bear the entire weight of the children's ministry. Failure to do so is just asking for trouble. Hey, you guys, that's it for this week's episode of What's Hot and What's Not in Children's Ministry. We'll see you again, same time, same place.